Okay, so this morning has been plenty fun, but we have been waiting all morning for this. Welcome back to the show. It's time to get cheesy with it. Our first time here, she was making her award-winning Mima's lemon pound cake with lemon icing. Yeah. I was drooling through the screen on that one. Today, she's back ready to share how to put together a homemade holiday cheese ball. We welcome our good friend Robin Crouch back to Virginia this morning. We always love seeing her come through the door because it's going to be tasty. <laughs> and boy, you are right on time for the holidays mm -hmm. with this because because you can't go to a party. There's a couple of things you have to have. You gotta have a ham biscuit and you gotta have a cheese ball. So we're gonna do the cheese ball today. I agree, and this is a fun recipe to make. Okay. So we're gonna start off with all of our ingredients. We've got two packages of cream cheese that has set out and softened all night. We've got crushed pineapple in its own juice, peppers, onion, and I'll talk you through it. So I've got two packages of cream cheese here that's softened. And I'm going to add. And that's just straight cream cheese at this point. Straight cream cheese. Okay. And you can use low fat if you'd like. Okay. You don't have to use the, the high fat. And this is the secret ingredient for um, the cheese ball is it's the Sours um, seasoning salt. Sours has been a Richmond mm -hmm. company for 130 years. And um, this, I've used other seasoning salts, but this is the seasoning salt that makes it so tasty. So we're going to use two teaspoons of the Sours tea seasoning salt. And note her measuring spoon is in the shape of a heart. Yeah. Because she cooks with love. I cook with love. Yeah. Lots of love. That's yeah. a special ingredient for sure. And I'll, a little love in it. <laughs> I dare say that with this having the secret special ingredient of Sours seasoning salt and Robin being a Richmond area native, this is almost like the Richmond holiday cheese ball. It truly is. It truly is. And this is a fun cheese ball to make because it's so simple. Your kids can make it. And um, the one important, you really can't mess it up. The one important thing is you want to do is drain your pineapple very well. Mm -hmm. You just don't want a soggy cheese ball. So I've had my pineapple draining here and this is going to be eight and a half ounces, which is about a half a can. So I just, I just do a half a can. I pour my pineapple into my cream cheese. And you said it was already, we're buying crushed, yes. Yeah, crushed okay. in its own juice. You really don't want the heavy syrup because that's going to make it really too sweet. So you've got your seasoning salt in here. You've got your crushed pineapple. And then our next thing is two, uh, two teaspoons of uh, crushed uh, diced onion. Mm -hmm. So we got... And it's got a nice dice. Like that is just going to be cut perfect. Cut that up really fine. Of, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Actually, it's two tablespoons. Two not tablespoons. Two, yeah. I said teaspoons, but it's tablespoons. Yeah. And I've measured this. So this is two tablespoons. And then we're going to have a quarter of a cup of the pepper. Now, the nice thing about this cheese ball is that, um, like for Christmas, I use the red and green pepper. Mm -hmm. But in the fall, if you make it for Thanksgiving, you can use the orange pepper. But if you don't have the co different colored peppers, you can just use the green pepper. It's just as good with just the green pepper. So you use what you have on hand. If you have this on hand, just the green pepper. It's Christmas, it'll be, red and green. Yep, it'll That's be. That's totally awesome. I had never considered like aligning my, my peppers with the season. Yeah, it's just <laughs> something I think about. It's a silly thing to to play with your food. So that's all, all together. That's all it is. And like I said, easy peasy. You can make this in a jiffy and I just shape this into a ball and mix it, mix it well. Now does this get better uh, the next day and the next day and the next, if it lasts? Or is that, <laughs> it's, the hard part. it's going to be, yeah, that's that would the, be the hard part, making yes. it last. Yes. Yeah, it's going to get better as time goes on. I think it, I think it is better a little bit the next day after the, off the all the flavors have married. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it is. is so you're shaping it right there in the bowl, right? I am. I'm shaping it in the bowl, and I'm going to actually put the nuts on it in the bowl because the nuts will make a mess. Um, and I use walnuts to cover this. Um, this is a vegetarian dish, so. Um, um, I use walnuts if you would rather have pecans, mm -hmm. you can use pecans, and if you are not a nut person, I brought uh, cranberries, dried cranberries, oh, so that would be beautiful mm -hmm. for the holidays, yeah. you know. Again, so, good colors. Yeah, good colors, those, that red. So I just, I just sprinkle the nuts on there, and then I press it down with my fork. And then Come and press then, them in. Yeah, press them in, press them all around. And then this is what you get here. And I've also made a couple of teeny ones here. I thought, you know how the charcuterie boards are so popular now? Uh -huh. That I thought they'd be darling on a charcuterie board. 
you know? Yeah. And you know, it just occurred to me too, with so, we, with, we're kind of doing things where we maybe don't have a communal dish if it's outset, whatever. So you have, you could make little tiny ones exactly. individually. Right. Should I do a little quality control? On Please do. There? Please. Okay. Oh, you forgot one ingredient, Robin. What is that? Oh, my love. Yeah. 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 Is that a box of love? love? Yeah, yeah that's a little, little box of love. Yes. Got to add a little, sprinkle, box box add a little sprinkle of love. Let me let me make sure that goes in there. Yeah, mix it in really well. Yeah, now yours has the love in it. Okay, <laughs> mine's already prepped. Okay, now Robin, I've made cheese balls before, and um, sometimes I'll I've frozen them. Now I don't freeze them with the nuts, right? I would it was before the adding nuts stage. You would, I, I've separated and frozen. Have you ever tried this recipe doing no, that? No, I have. Could not. be a gamble. You don't yeah. know how it hold up. I don't know. It never makes it to the freezer at my house. Mm -hmm. It doesn't. But, but this it doesn't is, last that long. Is that pretty good? <laughs> mm. I mean, this is this is holiday. This is really it's addictive. awesome. It mm -hmm. is. It calls you back. And yeah. and this is a good a good little dish to fix for your neighbors or if you're going to a, a Christmas party that you need a dish to take. It's just something very simple that you usually will have most of the ingredients at home, and uh, and you just whip it up and and, and keep it chill. And you literally made this live on the show. A lot of times when we have chefs, they have something, you know, they, they show you putting it together and then come back and there's the finished product. Right. That is the finished product. That is the finished product, right. So we saw how long that took to make for Robin. And, and the longest thing that takes is chopping up your vegetables. Now I did want to mention that you do want to chop your vegetables up very finely. Mm -hmm. um, you don't want a huge chunk of uh, green pepper or onion to get in there, but. Uh, a huge chunk of onion wouldn't bother me at all. I love onions. But. That's because he has many layers. Mm -hmm. um, with this, with, with chopping those vegetables, Robin, did you want to dry those out at all? You know how you took great care to drain the pineapple. Do you dry those? If, I not dry them, but like drain them. So if there is any juice, mm -hmm. um, when I chop, the, I chop them at home and, um, and I did have them in a bowl when I brought them here and I made sure that I did not put any juice on here mm -hmm. because it will, it will make your cheese ball soupy if you yeah. um, add too, many, too much juice to it. So, but if it, if it ends up being a little dry, you can add a little juice, you know, juice to it, but I usually don't. Oh, I usually dry. don't. And uh, so this is, this is the end product and and that's that's it there Beautiful. and it's it's delicious and easy and I hope you'll try it okay. and these are some goodies chances are strong you might be able to still run in today or maybe you've got them at home in the fridge or the pantry put it together it'll be perfect tomorrow Robin thank you so much thank you for having me absolutely again. I love being here you made oh, my holiday Merry happier. Christmas to get yeah. in here for another little quality. Robin uh, we're gonna send that recipe to our website later today and you can get it after three this afternoon we will definitely make sure it's at WTVR.com slash VTM mm. stay tuned there's more cheesiness to come right after a quick break